Richard Wynn, followed by Don Kindred. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, City Councilman. Uh, I would just like to make a few comments about uh, the study session with the title, Discussion of the Historic Civic Center Driveway Access Proposal. Dovetailing with what Tom just said, I feel that before any more discussion takes place on the issue of demolishing and repurposing the area in front of the Historic Civic Center described in the nomination of the National Register of Historic Places in the terms that Tom paraphrased, the landscaped lawn area in front of the building served, serves as the heart of the community, even today. Holiday lighting of the trees, celebrations of the community, citrus industry, heritage, antiques and collectibles fairs, graduation ceremonies and other functions that bring people of the community together have occurred and continue to occur on the site. We, the citizens of Corona, need to know the answers to at least two questions so we can give the City Council proper direction on this matter. One, what is the overriding principle governing this repurposing? And two, what are you trying to accomplish? Without knowing the answers to these, we cannot determine if the four concepts provided by the staff are the only alternatives that should be considered. Um, no mention was made of the existing small parking lot to the north, southwest of the old PD building where there are 14 regular parking places and one handicapped parking place. Why can't this be used? Uh, the, these should be easily converted into handicapped spaces and short-term parking, and part of the old uh, secure parking lot could be utilized. There does not appear to be any good reason why, uh, why other options should not be considered. I would like to point out that in the 1960s this proposal was made uh, the driveway is the old driveway that used to be there and the parking was proposed to the west uh, that was never accomplished there was another one in the in the 2000s that did the same thing and that was not passed for very good reasons um, option number four takes in the whole space between the old library and the police department and replicates an original drawing, a conceptual drawing for the high school campus from 1922. Now that was never built uh, and there were lots of things there were never built for very good reasons. So I would like to suggest that Okay. That I don't have all the answers, but it appears to me there is no compelling need or legitimate public purpose for this oasis in the midst of a generally commercial area to be repurposed. None, no thought has been given to replacing or re, re, replacing some of the property on the uh, north side of the uh, auditorium with drive-through parking like we used to have and utilize more space to get the kids for Kids Rock Free up closer to the building. Uh, I was reminded that Mr. Talbert made a presentation to City Council assuring you the adequacy of existing parking in the area and especially uh, there is a mid-block crosswalk that's been there for some time with the pr close proximity of signals and so forth. The flow can be interrupted enough it's not a, a hazard to cross the street there. Your time's up if you okay. could wrap it up. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate this. I hope that in the fo uh, follow-up study session we'll get an opportunity to discuss some of these things. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Don Kindred followed by Christine Gary. Good evening, Mr. Mayor and Council Members. My name is Don Kindred and I reside at 2830 via Mazadlan here in Corona. Um, two comments tonight. Uh, 
The first one is uh, representing both the Corona Symphony Orchestra and Conservatory and Christian Arts and Theater. And that is simply this. Uh, we uh, moved into the historic Civic Center back in August of this year. And we couldn't feel better about our new home. And I just, on behalf of myself and Christian Arts and, and Theater, really just want to say thank you for your support on that. I really appreciate it. We really appreciate it, so thanks. Uh, the other is regarding parking, and it really wasn't related to this, but uh, it was regarding parking. And, and uh, prior to us moving in there, there was a lot of dialogue about parking. Was there going to be enough space? Is it going to be inconvenient? Is the distance too far? All those things came up, and um, I just wanted to give you an update. Uh, and, and this is uh, me representing the Corona Symphony Orchestra and Conservatory. We have on Thursdays for the last 26 weeks, uh, and coming up to 30 weeks, we'll have two semesters completed with, the, with our music conservatory. Uh, we have had between 120 to 150 students on that campus Thursdays between 3 o'clock and 7 o'clock. And in that time period since last August when we started, uh, I have not, nor have any of the teachers, received one complaint about parking. Everybody's figured it out. About 80% of the students are dropped off and picked up. The rest of the parents find a place to park, and it's a moot point. Just want to let you know, all's well, the parking works, and that's all I have. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Christine Gary, followed by Wes Speak. Hello, I'm Christine Gary. I live at 1052 East Grand in historic home, and I'm very, very concerned about the historic Civic Center, which uh, when I came to this city almost 10 years ago, I could see that it was one of the highlights of the historic center of the whole downtown. So I'm really worried that we're going to pave over one of the last beautiful, peacefully green areas that we have in our downtown area. That reminds me a little bit too much of our Carnegie Library faux pas that happened, you know, many years ago, and of course we know that's just a weed lot now for 30 years. Um, it seems like there should be some alternatives for parking uh, behind the old police station uh, on Buena Vista, or you know, there's. You guys are also sharp and intelligent and brilliant. I know you can come up with more parking rather than sticking the cars out in front of our uh, the historic building. Um, we do know, of course, that the kids with instruments and the handicapped do need more parking there, and I'm just hoping that uh, we can come up with an alternative and we can save the front of that building for everybody in the future to enjoy. And uh, let's see. Um, in the past, I've done some studies. My husband was a mayor of a city up in Northern California, and every study of a city will tell you that it's the green space is absolutely one of the most important things that draws people to your city and maintains comfort and relaxation for the people in your city and parking lots do just the opposite as we know so uh, besides we know that you know there's a kind of a weight problem in the country now and uh, people are sedentary so what's wrong with walking a block or two to a parking lot, an auxiliary parking lot, and coming down to the Civic Center. Um, I haven't heard too many complaints about that. And being uh, a person of the 60s and 70s, I'm sure all of you know, good old Joni Mitchell said, don't pave paradise and put in a parking lot, please. Thank you. Thank you. 